Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and today we will try to make watermelon. So, we are in Cinema 4D. I have version R20 and I have version of Redshift. Uh, just a moment, we will check. Latest update which I received just yesterday. Redshift uh, 2629. But today I will use a uh, standard options uh, which you also can find in any previous versions. I am sure you can find it. Okay, so first of all I will start from seeds. Going to sphere, create standard sphere. Radius 100, segments 24. Uh, display and change settings for quick shading, something like that. Okay, now we are going to front view and make the sphere like a editable. Okay, very good. Uh, going for point selection and select top point, something like here. Then going for move tool and soft selection, push enable. Radius of soft selection make 150, something like, uh, 150, something, sorry, 150, something like that. Okay, and pull it up. Maybe something like, maybe something like that. Okay, it will be our seed. So uh, now we are make some small settings for this seed. Uh, first of all, take it, soft selection, disable, and put it somewhere down. After that, rectangle selection. Select this middle points and put it little bit down. Make something like that. Okay, very good. What next? Select this one. And make it like this. So, I am not so good in modeling. I just show you basic idea. And all other you can do by yourself without any problem. If you know how to make this modeling more better, I just show you a basic idea. Okay, so now we are making it a little bit randomized. Uh, this I will pick up a little bit more. Somewhere here I put something like inside. This may be a little bit down. It's also somewhere maybe a little bit down. So just something like... Something like that. Okay, so it will be our seed. Then going for uh, right view, uh, select it and make it very, very small. Something like that. About 35, 33, 33%. Uh, 33 it really doesn't matter. So what we will do now? Uh, line selection, age selection, and select following line. Just look to the forward. Select this line, double click on the line, hold shift on your keyboard, select this line, then select this line, and select somewhere, maybe this line, maybe this, I don't know, we will see. Yeah, this line, select like this. Okay, same situation, make please from other side. So what we have, we have like this selection. Okay, after that, Live selection, choice live selection, going for uh, front view, y uh, disable this, use visible elements only, disable it, uh, push counter on your keyboard and take out lines which we no need. These lines we are not used. We need only middle, something like that. So for a moment, you will get this result. As you can see, you will get this result. What I doing now? Right click on this line and bevel selection. Push on the line and make something like that. Little bit bigger, smaller, it's, it's really not so important. So we are selected, very good. Then uh, polygons selection, as you can see. So I don't know, select all polygons will be more faster. Maybe you know more better idea how to select polygons uh, which I need, but I use like this, it also will be 
root. So I like to select only these polygons, which just now was created, were created by Bevel option. So if you have other idea how to select it, please comment me. As you know, I read all your comments and I try to reply for everybody. Uh, also, thank you very much for your feedbacks. It's very important for my future tutorials. Okay, so it is done. And what we will do now, going for this scale tool selection and going on top view. As you can see, we have it. So take this blue line and put it down, maybe something like that. Maybe something like that. Yeah, very good. What next? Uh, point selection, rectangle selection, and this almost straight, should be almost straight, something like that. And something like that. Same situation we will do here. Like I told you, maybe you have more better idea how to create these bonds. But I'm making like this. So, looks like it's done. What next? Next we are going for uh, subdivision surface and put the sphere inside. And we are get this very and really very nice bonds. Bond one, bond. Okay, very good. So now we are work with some materials. Before to continue, I create a light, dome light, and any map what you like to use. I use uh, this beer's living, something like that. Create this and render. Before continuous to render, we are going for render options, choice a red shift, going for red shift, and in beginning. In the beginning, I need very small 32 passes and samples, yeah, 16 will be enough for a moment. Don't change any more settings for a moment, later we will see what we can do. Okay, so, uh, render, render view, render, and bucket rendering. So, I don't like to receive any background, I am going for dome light, going for general options, and here in environment you have enable background, just disable it, make like this. Okay, very good. So, what now? Create new redshift material and apply this material to bone. Very good. Maybe I turn a little bit just to receive some reflection. Okay, doc. So what we will do now? Now we are start create some some material. Open, open shader graph. Somewhere here will be my bone, my seed. Let's go. So first of all, going for texture and use a ramp. Take this ramp, apply here, and now we will see how is this ramp working. So this end of this bond or begin of this bond, it doesn't matter. I like to make a black. So something like something like that. Okay, after that I am going for noise amount and make it maybe 0 0.3. No, it's too much. Maybe 0 0.2 only. And frequency also 2. Mm -hmm. Looks like too much. 0 0.1, maybe 5, no, 0 0.2, we will see. Okay, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, you can play how you like it, absolutely how you like it. No, 0 0.5 too much, trying 0 0.4. Yeah, so I like it. I like this result. Just moment, one more time, 3. And 0 0.3 maybe here. Yeah, maybe I will keep like this. Okay. So, what we receive it? If I again make enable background, you will see I have a black 
uh, black end or begin of this bone. Something like that. Very good. So what now? Create one more ramp. Apply this ramp to texture, to output, and now we are change some colors. For change these colors, I am going for uh, Google, and here I have a bones. Here I have some uh, some seeds from watermelon, and here I have watermelon, which I use like a reference. You can check also. So what we are doing now? Just put somewhere here. Then somewhere like this, going to see it, and this will be very black. So open it, go to these options, and make it something like very, very end color, something like here. Okay. And this color, make somewhere, somewhere here maybe. Very nice. So uh, what now? end of bone we are create some noise amount maybe five we will see five to five trying 0 0.2 and here maybe two yeah so I like this result, as you can see, I, I get this result, and maybe I pick up a little bit brown color from down, maybe something like that. Okay, uh, again, I little bit work with this material, maybe I will use a one tree, and here I use a six tree, I don't know, yeah, you see, I like to get this result. Very nice. So what we are doing now, we have ramp for this black one and we have other ramp for uh, body. I'm going for color correction, color composite and put both this ramp inside in color composite. Inside color composite, I will use a multiply options and put here. So what I get, I get a really nice result. Okay, uh, apply this material, uh, sorry, color composite for our diffuse color, something like that. And we receive a very interesting uh, seed, but as you can see, it's really like a plastic or glass or something else. So what we are doing now, create a noise. Apply this noise for bump. Like a texture input, and apply it here. Bump input. Okay, you see we are get some result. So what now? Now we are play with this noise. Uh, I think I will use a scale about three. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Maybe yes. For a moment we can use it. Bump input. Uh, 0 0.3 just little bit and also this noise i'll use for my material first of all inside in material uh, change our roughness for 0 0.1 for reflection yeah and go for coating make it full one and i wear 3 3 but i don't like to receive it everywhere so i apply this noise like a coating weight like a mask very nice little bit later we will come back for this noise for bump but for a moment we'll we'll keep like this okay what i'm doing now now i am going for this sphere and i reduce a radius for 0 0.05 i make a very small radius 0 0.05 0 0.05 it will be real very small bone almost with real size. So I increase now and you will see how it's going on. Just a moment. No, it's too far. Somewhere here. Okay, looks like very nice. So take this material and apply for subdivision because we are using subdivision. After that, Right, uh, middle click on subdivision or select everything and go connect and delete object.
So it will be seed. I'll keep like this. You see, now my materials applied very nice and I will get a very interesting result. I am coming closer. Just a moment. I pick up camera. Yeah. So you see what I get. Uh, if you don't like uh, how it's coming, you can reduce little. Ah, it's already reduced it. So you can make it 0.1 or something like this. But for a moment, I will keep 0.3 uh, because my tutorial I prepared with same result. It's up to you. If you like to make my macro picture of only seeds, you can reduce this amount up to you. So for a moment, seed done. We will close it. And now we are going for create a watermelon. I already post some pictures of this watermelon and some of you asked me how to create this material. So I don't use any additional options, only uh, Redshift and only Cinema 4D. So create cube, make this cube for object for 50 centimeters only, something like that. So uh, again, uh, if you like to create some other kind of my uh, some kind of watermelon it is up to you because I use something like this and I need only this area I don't create any um, I don't know any skin of this watermelon or something like that okay create new redshift material and apply this material to cube for a moment make like this what we are doing now going for cube and increase segments. I use a 20, 20, and 20. Make like this for a moment. Maybe side segment I can I can reduce maybe, I don't know, not one, maybe, maybe five only, something like that. So increase uh, segments. For what? After that, apply displacer for this cube. Make like this. Go for displacer, go to shading, and inside in the shader, apply noise. So, Parameters of this noise, only global scale, change for 10. Make like this, not too much, make like this. And uh, inside in the displacer object, change high for three centimeter. For a moment, we'll keep like this. So as you can see, we receive it like this result. What we are doing now? Now we are, okay, this will be like this. Now we are going and make clone for my seed. Pick up the seed on top. Maybe I will turn a little bit. Oh no. For what I need pick up. I just put it down for a moment. Yeah, something like that. Very good. So going for MoGraph, going for cloner and put seed inside to the cloner. As you can see, I have many seeds on top. So what we need? Uh, first of all, I like to make it to the side. Something like that. Or maybe I will use a grid array. We will see. Now we will see what we will do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know how many I will add, maybe 20 seeds, maybe 20 seeds and make it like this. So very good. Uh, then going for transform and change rotation of the seed, not here, maybe here. Yeah, just put it like this, 90, 90 degrees. Yeah, very good. So what now? As you can see, my seed will be like this inside in watermelon. What now? Uh, push to the cloner, go to the MoGraph effector and apply random effector. Inside random effector, I will use parameters. So uh, for a moment, I put zero, 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 and I like to make only up and down, only like this. Maybe something like a 25 centimeters. So scale, like a uniform scale, I will use a 0 0.2. Some will be big, some will be small. Inside in the rotation, first of all, I change, not now, change and not now, 
like this little bit about 10 maybe 15 little bit like this about 10 and here will be more about 25 so finally you have to receive like this result you see straight you see here how it's coming little bit up and down maybe we'll increase for 30 or 35 we will see 35 we will try later we will play like this so you will get like this result what we are doing now take this cloner and pick up almost on the top somewhere here so my camera i set up my camera something like something like that maybe okay as you can see like this i have seats maybe a little bit down yeah so like this you have to receive result what we are doing now take this cloner and make a copy of this cloner we need to cloner of my seats now we are going for new options of cinema 4d r20 if you haven't this uh, version if you haven't r20 you can try to use um, you can try to use bull options but it will be not so easy it will be not so easy but you can try anyway so we are going for cinema 4d r20 version new options volume builder select it and put inside in this builder new cloner which we are make a copy and my watermelon i i'll close water melon okay this will be cloner for seeds okay and this will be cloner for hole for seed yeah so uh put watermelon inside also builder but down so should be like this i create a camera and then i'm going on top finally you will get like this result as you can see we receive like this result so we are going for volume builder and here we have options so uh, voxel size if you open it's many different options but i take this voxel size and reduce for one for a moment you see like this we receive result and here we have uh yeah it should be on top sorry should be like this here we have some options so we have hole for seeds and we have watermelon everything what is inside and as you can see everything what is on top have additional options mod so if you open you have union subtract and inserts we have to use subtract it's mean automatically so this seed i make it disable like this automatically in our in our future watermelon we have some holes okay uh, now I'm going for voxel size and reduce for 0.5. If you have a very low computer, be careful with this. In other way, you will get a problem. So better use one or two is depend. I have more or less good computer, so I reduce for 0.5. If you like to receive a very good quality, you can make voxel size less. What we are doing now, again, going for this tool and going for volume measure it's also new tool for cinema 4d r20 open take this volume builder and put inside volume measure and we receive some very interesting mesh as you can see we have like this mesh with already some holes inside looks like very nice so now open please again our seats and look what we get you see you see looks like very nice but it's not 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 so finish uh, we have go go for this hole for seats and i like to make this holes little bit bigger than my seat open this hole of seat take this seat go for coordinates and increase maybe for two 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 for a moment wait a little bit and come on okay 
yeah of course it's not working we are going for hall of seeds and for this uh, cloner and here we have to disable fix clone push like this wait a little bit and now you will get some result yeah you see okay very nice and it looks like very very big and really i don't like it so we are take this seed and we are try to play with this so maybe here will be one so i like it made it very wide okay here maybe will be three we will see yeah so like this like this result i like it i like it and it looks like very very interesting so if you need to pick up little bit you take this seeds hall of seeds as you can see now it's uh, 23.9 i pick up for maybe 24 centimeters and after that take also this seed and also pick up for 24 centimeter if you are not satisfied pick up more pick up for 25 just to receive more interesting result here we also pick up for 25 so check it now mm -hmm. very very nice now we are get something we will see how it will be on the final render but for a moment for a moment i am satisfied so mm -hmm. maybe i just change a little bit going for seed and change Mm, cloner where is this transforms i cannot see seeds ah sorry not here in random in random i will change for seed number i don't know two we will see try to get some little bit other result okay yeah this i like more this area i like very much something like here will be my camera so i create new camera this i will delete uh very nice so we are finished it uh, with some modeling of my future watermelon i render it and you can see it will be like this uh now i am going for volume measure and apply for this volume measure a redshift tag redshift object inside in this tag going for geometry and change override enable and displacement enable so we no need any more here now going for material so what options we use for this material uh, i will try to open this just a moment i will try to open render view something like with small screen to receive a very fast result render something like this and here we will try to work with with material yeah something like that okay very good okay work with this material open material going for basic properties and what we need we need a roadness roadness i will make a 0 0.0.2 0 .2. no any other settings now we are going for texture take a ramp and apply this ramp like a like a base color diffuse color okay very good so uh, what color of this ramp first color somewhere middle it will be full red with about 85 percent of darkness something like this and second color will be again full red but here i'm coming somewhere on the 50 percent so very simple something like that okay uh, why it's not rendering mm -hmm. maybe i have to put like this okay now it should be yeah very nice uh, render coming so maybe here i also change some options uh i make some noise 0 0.1 and here we maybe two what is this so if i am going on top 
something like this, I will get like this result, just a moment. Uh, you have to wait a little bit, render coming, yeah, you see. Uh, middle of my watermelon uh, have a very bright color and around I get a little bit more dark color. For a moment I'll keep like this. So, what now? Now I'm going for texture and for this coating I apply for full. I wear for coating will be 033. It will be like a water. We will see a little bit. Yeah, looks like very nice. Going for camera. Now we are apply some noise for this coating. Going to create some noise. Uh, take some color. Where is this color correction? Cannot see. Yeah, color correction. And check what I can what I can receive. So maybe now I disable these bones to make a render more faster. Yeah, something like this. Okay. Uh, size of this noise. 0 0.5. We'll keep like this. And color correction, we are increase some contrast almost up to maximum. Maybe somewhere 95. I will make 95. Yeah, so and this noise which we receive it, we will apply for my material like a coating, like a weight. It means I will get a very powerful reflection, like a water only, whereas I have white color. Check what I get. I get like this result. We have to wait a little bit. Yeah, somewhere will be red, somewhere not red. For a moment we will keep like this. What next? Now we need some displacement. For displacement, I will use from utilities option displacement. Take it. And I use again noise. So settings of this noise, first of all, will be not fractal, will be cell. Coordinates, so I'm I'm take it like this, and we will see. I like to receive very, very hard uh, displacement and very big noise. I increase too much, maybe 10. Yeah, something like that. You have to receive something like this result. So take this noise, apply for displacement like a texture, and this texture apply here like a displacement tool. Wait a little bit. Come in calculation. Okay, you see, we already received some some interesting result, uh, but it's it's not finished yet. So uh, what we are doing now? We are going for material, going for multi subscattering surface, and increase amount up to one. Again, this amount radius and some other options you have to check according to your uh, personal object your personal uh, animated object so inside in the mod we change for point based and i reduce radius for 10 only just to get something like this result okay very nice so uh inside in layer color one i will change for red color but somewhere here again 50 something like this and radius i use a five we will wait a little bit Okay, very nice. After that, going for layer number two and make this color for, I don't know, 85, something like this. Okay, and make radius only for, for 10. Again, wait, wait a little bit and now I'll get like this result. So what we are doing now, I like to receive a little bit more reflection. I am going for dome light going for these options and now turn a little bit until I will get very powerful reflection from some windows or somewhere. We will see. Okay, it's almost. Yeah, I like it. I like this reflection, it looks like very nice. Okay, going for dome light 
and explosion increase up to one just to make it more bright yeah very good so we receive this result now I turn a little bit maybe I will get a little bit other no I'll keep like this so now we can switch on my uh, bones of my seeds and check result what we are get now yeah looks like good but it's still not completed I'll keep like this. I like this result. Okay, what we are doing now? Going back to our material. Again, I no need now seeds. Open shader graph. And now I like to make some, I don't know, some the small yellow ropes inside. So how to do it? For a moment, we are disable our displacement. Push like this and create one more noise noise this noise we will apply for mathematical where is mathematical scalar multiply i hope you saw my message uh, my some tutorials before for sign something like this and multiply i will use somewhere to the five after that i use also color correct something like um, like at this and apply here just to see final result so what is my idea my idea to see a line straight line i'm going for noise and start work with noise first of all it will be of course turbulence then i maybe 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 reduce this size scale just to make it a little bit straight not here maybe like this straight we will see yeah you see it is straight then I'm going for noise, uh, going for color, and I don't know, I increase a bias. Okay, very good. Something like a 95. Yeah, you see, I have straight noise. Then go, go for color correct and increase contrast. Also maybe 95. We will see now. Okay, maybe I change it color correction for 0 0.9 only just to receive little bit gray around so yeah something like this okay so what we are doing now now apply this color correction also for new displacement take displacement apply it here like a texture map and apply here like a displacement so check now what i get wait a little bit and now I will get this result. Yeah, you see, I have this additional displacement options. So what we are doing now with these options, we are create new material. We are going for new material. And what we will change here, we are going for diffuse and make it something like, I don't know, maybe 30, maybe 50. And maybe full bright like this yellow yellow color light yellow okay uh, blender material apply it to the main color this will be secondary color layer number one and this will be like a mask texture blend color so check it and look our result for a moment we have to wait a little bit. Yeah, I receive some object, but it still not looks like inside. So what we have to do for this? Now we are take the displacement and apply this displacement here. You see, wait a little bit. 
calculation rendering coming yeah now i already have something inside and it looks like very nice but i like to receive displacement from here and from here and for this reason i have nice displacement tools displacement blender so it will be blend color base and this will be displacement zero then we are going for the displacement blender make it additive mode and increase blending up to one enable and wait calculation coming and you will get some result yeah you see now displacement coming for this figure okay very nice so maybe i change little bit noise i'm going for if i have some seed or not okay maybe i change here a little bit just to receive little bit as a result wait a little bit okay yeah so i keep like this this i like more keep it like this if you like to make it thin you have just to work with this noise with uh, color correction and you will get some result what you like this is like a basic idea uh, okay what now if you like to receive more deep result for uh, your body of watermelon you are going again for main redshift material you are going for multi subscattering surface and this radius increase now we have 10 now look at this picture so i make like something like this and i increase wait a little bit it will be first render yeah so going for radio scale and increase for example in 10 times 100 and look at the different as you can see it's coming a little bit deep and looks like more water inside okay so uh now enable again my seeds just to see it and look what we are received okay more or less i found some some result what i like so maybe i just change a little bit 25 24 so also will be 24 just a little bit down to receive this bone okay so uh, i receive it result i don't like this very straight yellow how to fix it we are going again for this material i take this to my system or my surface and make it more straight so going here maybe i will use like this number one only we will see oh it's very big mm, maybe 0 0.1 we will see no oh, it's very okay so 25 yeah something like that i will keep something like that so going back and check what result we are received so you see this is really too much we are going for color correct sorry first noise and here i maybe a little bit increase up to 99 just to receive a small quantity somewhere will be no not where no way yeah you see somewhere small i have maybe i make uh, only 7 97 so uh, now you can see how to play with these some results how to add these elements for watermelon and more or less this is final picture so now we are check how many minutes coming render I'm going for camera, apply for this camera, redshift camera tag, redshift camera tag. After that, I'm going for bokeh, yes, then going for camera and focus distance will be somewhere, somewhere here. Maybe camera tag, maybe this radius, I will make two 
COC radios. So going for render settings, output, I will make full HD like usually. Okay, very good. And uh, render, so I will use 64 frames and maybe also I will use some GI. So it will be brute force with 512, something like this. Mm, that's all, so render and check final result. Uh, and for a moment, my tutorial finish it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much everybody for subscribe to my, my channel. If you are still not subscribed, please do it. Uh, push to the ring to do not miss my following tutorials. Thank you everybody. Okay, it's time coming, subscattering coming calculation. We have to wait and rendering. Okay, as you can see, final render taking uh, less than three minutes. We are get like this result with very interesting subscattering surface, a very interesting bonds and macro effect of watermelon. So uh, this tutorial completed. This picture I received for preparation for this tutorial. Maybe you like this more or other more or you can make something else. So uh, see you next time and goodbye.